Hey y'all. Easily the number one request I get is for a demonstration on how I hooked up uh, my triple edge finder from Bill Griggs over at the Maker's Guide to my Xylotex drive box and how I use it with Mach 3. Well, This is part one of a tutorial on how I hooked up my triple edge finder. So I'm going to go through this step by step and it look, looks like this is going to be a three-part series. So here in part one, what we'll do is I'll go to the Xylotex website and I'll show you which breakout board I got for my drive box. Then we'll download and install another screen set for Mach 3 to be used with the Triple Edge Finder. Then in subsequent videos, we'll hook up the Triple Edge Finder, hook up the breakout board, get it configured in Mach 3, then in the final part we'll go ahead and put it into use and I'll show you how I use it every day. So, some of this information may seem uh, a little basic to some of you seasoned veterans, but there are quite a few people out there who have never done anything like this before and they need some pretty basic information. So, if you can just bear with me Hopefully, everybody will get something out of this video series. So, let's go ahead and get over to the Xylotex website, and I'll show you the breakout board that I used. Okay, here I am on the Xylotex website. And as you can see in this photo right here, uh, Jeff has redesigned the uh, drive box to where it has two parallel ports on it instead of one. And that kind of complicates uh, the issue just slightly in that I have the old style drive box that has the single parallel port on it instead of the dual. So with that in mind, I only had one choice as to which breakout board I could use with the drive box. If you have one of the newer drive boxes that has two parallel port, uh, ports on it, you actually have three choices. Um, now, the breakout board that I'm going to show you will work with this drive box just fine. But you also have a couple of other alternatives. Now, if you're unsure about which one to get after this, um, go ahead and contact Jeff here at uh, Xylotex. Here's a Contact Us link right here. Uh, he's real responsive. He will answer your questions and get you going on the right path. But no matter which style of drive box you have, you can use the breakout board that I used. So, uh, and you'll find that by going up here to Accessories. And when that menu loads, scroll down here to the DB25 Bob ST. Okay, and this is it. Now, there's been several design changes. Um, over the years and the breakout board you receive may not look identical to this. Mine doesn't look identical to this. Uh, he's added and taken away over here on this side so some of this may not be present and that doesn't matter because we won't use, use it. We'll be using these pins and these terminals over here. Now if you're using the parallel port on uh, the back of an old PC you will need to get a second parallel cable and I'll go into that more in the website article that accompanies this video. Uh, if you're using a UC100 or an Ethernet smooth stepper you won't need to uh, buy any additional cables or anything like that. So this is the breakout board that I used so this is the one that we're going to focus on in this video series. Again, if you uh, have the newer style drive box and you want to use a different breakout board, contact Jeff at Xylotex and he will steer you down the right path. Okay, with all of our parts ordered, uh, we need to go ahead and install a new screen set for Mach 3. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and create a new profile for Mach 3. And that's easiest done using the Mach 3 loader. So the Mach 3 loader will open up for us just same as normal. What we're going to do is we're going to clone an existing profile over here but set it up for the tool set or screen set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and click create profile. Now it's telling me that uh, we got a section over here where we're going to clone from. 
I'm going to select the Mach 3 mil profile. I'm going to clone that, but I'm going to give it a new name. And that new name I'm going to give it is CNC router. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Now it added that profile to the list and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Okay. And there we have it. It's the exact same it's, uh, as any of the other um, screen sets because we haven't downloaded and applied our new screen set yet. The way we can tell which profile we're in is in this window down here. We know it's the correct profile. This is the screen set that we want to modify. Okay, so with that done, we'll go ahead and close Mach 3 while we're waiting for our parts to arrive. Now, we'll go ahead and order our new screen set for Mach 3. And I'm over here on the Mach Support website. This, these are the makers of Mach 3. And I'm going to go ahead and go into Software and Downloads for Mach 3 here. And when this page opens, I'm going to come down in this side over here to Screen Sets. And click that link. And here we're going to get a list of the screen sets that are available for Mach 3. Now, there are two screen sets that I know for sure will work with the uh, Triple Edge Finder. There may be more. I just don't know that for a fact. The two that I do know work are the Mach 3 2010 screen set, which looks like this one. Here, it's a completely different interface. And the Mach 3 tool setter by Big Tex. And for obvious reasons, this is also called the blue screen set. Now, there is a fee for each one of them. Uh, and that fee is $20. Uh, and it goes to the author of the screen set. Now, you're free to use either of these or any screen set that will work with the Triple Edge Finder. I personally just preferred the blue screen set here by Big Tex, mainly because it's similar enough to the stock Mach, Mach 3 screen set that uh, I found it easier to use. Uh, controls were easier to find. So, with that in mind, uh, here's some information over here about it. Uh, it was written by Thomas, a.k.a. Big Tex. And uh, it's got uh, some information over here that is it's worth browsing through. But the main thing we were looking for is the download button right there. Click the download button, and it'll bring you over to Big Tex's website, where we can click the purchase link and we can order the screen set. Uh, again, the fee is $20, and what he asks is that you provide a valid email address at the time of purchase. Because what he's going to do is send you a zip file to the email address you provide, so it needs to be a valid email address. Okay, So we click the Buy Now button, we go through the screens, we order the uh, screen set. Now we're just waiting on Thomas to email us the screen set so we can put it into Mach 3. So we hear the notification, it goes ding, and our screen set has arrived. Go over and check our email and download the screen set zip file, and which I have done already right here. Now it comes as a zip file. And I double click on that zip file and here we see the three files that come with it. We have the in installer package, we have a macro file, and we have a readme file. We need to extract these files in order to install them. And if you're running Windows XP uh, you'll see uh, a uh, 
the extract all files is somewhere over in this area here on the left. I'm on Windows 7, so it's up here. Windows 10, it's up here as well, I believe. But either way, we'll need to extract these files into the folder. Now, where you extract them is totally up to you. Just extract them somewhere where you can find them easily. Now, I have already done that. I put it in the same folder as the zip file, and it's mine is right here. So I'll go into that folder now, and we see there's the three files ready for use. We have the installer, the macro, and the readme. The readme, it's up to you if you want to take a look at it. There's some information in there of value, but if you do, do not and follow do not follow the instructions that are in that readme because you'll have to undo a few things to get it to install to be used with the Xylotex drive box. The first step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install by running the installer program. And that's simply double click and follow the prompts. Go to next. We want to install it in the Mach 3 folder. So wherever your Mach 3 folder is installed, go ahead and browse to it if it doesn't come here automatically. My computer defaults to the C drive. Some people, your computer might default to the D drive. Wherever your Mach 3 folder is, that's where you want to install this. So we'll select Next, then Install. And this could take a few seconds. It could take a few minutes. Um, I'm again on a Windows 7 machine. It's an older machine, but it uh, doesn't take very long. And there we're finished. We're almost done with the installation. Now we need to copy this macro. So we'll select it, right click, select copy. Now we'll need to navigate to our Mach 3 folder. And on my case, it's there in the operating system C drive. Double click Mach 3. Then we'll come over here to Macros. Double click. Then we're going to look for the profile we set up for use with the blue screen set. In my case, it was CNC router, so I'll double click that folder to open it. Then I'm going to right click and select Paste to paste that macro into this folder. Now I'm going to get this warning screen right here that says there's already a file with the same name in this location. In Windows XP you'll get a similar warning screen that comes up that will ask you do you want to overwrite the file. Yes, you want to overwrite that file. In Windows 7 and Windows 10 we get this kind of screen we want to select copy and replace. So I just click somewhere right in there and it replaces the M6 start macro file with the one we need to run the blue screen. We're almost finished now. I can go ahead and close that and I can go back into my Mach 3 loader. I can select the CNC router profile click OK. It will start Mach 3. OK. We're in Reset. I'll go ahead and hit Reset. We want to make sure that we're in the CNC router profile. Now we're going to activate the blue screen set. We'll go up here into... We'll go into the View menu. Click Load Screens. That's going to take us into the Mach 3 folder where we'll scroll down until we find here Big Tech's Blue Tool Setter version 3.4.set. That's the screen set we want to load. So we'll select it, click Open, Mach 3 will blank out, and come back, and there we are. We'll go over here to Config, Save Settings. Now we're all set we have our screen set loaded. We're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. And in the next video, we will get into the Mach 3 into this screen set and we'll start configuring it. We'll configure our buttons 
for use with the Triple Edge Finder. We'll get in and we'll edit a little bit of script to uh, make sure that our Z0 button works correctly. Uh, we'll physically wire everything up and um, take it from there. So, I hope you got something out of this video. I know we went through a lot of information fairly quickly. Um, if you did get anything out of this, uh, please give me a thumbs up down there. And uh, to be notified when I post the next video in this series, hit the subscribe button down below. Whether you subscribe to me or not, I want to thank you very much for watching, and you all have a nice day. Take care.